So I posted a teaser last week about something I was working on uh, with Raven Concealment, Unity Tactical, and Blue Force gear. Uh, that project revolved around improving uh, some shortcomings I saw in the Unity Clutch system. If you haven't tried out this Unity Clutch belt, uh, you might want to give it a look. It's a great summertime rig. Uh, I've been really enjoying it this summer. Uh, recommend it to a few friends. Posted on it before. Uh, those guys have really enjoyed working with it as well. Uh, this belt system is great because it requires no belt. So now you've got an option for basketball shorts, any kind of shorts with a drawstring, swim trunks, uh, anything that, that doesn't have belt loops or a belt. Uh, you could just wear regular shorts and not wear them with a belt. Uh, that would work as well, but opens up a lot of your hot weather kind of shorts, uh, things that are lighter materials, nylon, that type stuff. Um, it's been great. Get it sweaty, wash it in the washing machine. It's just kind of a nylon, uh, spandexy sort of material, sort of like a soft shell. Um, consists of a larger belt with a number of pockets in it. Uh, pockets open up, they have Velcro on the inside. If you haven't seen it, you can kind of go to their website and get a, a better view of what it is. But you wear it sort of like a belly band, or you, you can wear it up high, uh, or you can wear it down low around your hips like you would normally a holster. But uh, issues I was having with it were I was using for inserts uh, just a cheap Uncle Mike's uh, double mag pouch. As you can see, like this double mag pouch is pretty flat, pretty square. Got the Velcro on the back. Did not mold well to my hips. Wasn't very comfortable. Get rid of that. For the holster, same thing, just a cheap Uncle Mike's Glock holster. Um, paddle taken off, Velcro installed. This was a major sticking point. Um, problem I was having with it was it doesn't have a sight channel in it, a proper sight channel. So that eliminated use of pistols like the Roland Special with the uh, suppressor height sights. It eliminates all my Dawson precision sights with the tall fiber optic fronts. Pretty much anything except for a Glock standard sight doesn't fit in this holster so it had to go wasn't working out well uh, looked at what unity recommended the different companies that they were showing as an option they've changed uh, at least once with who they were going with but always been a raven fan uh, they make great stuff already put out a little bit of a little video about this uh, raven Perrin. Uh, chris over at tactical this is the special application that i was looking for that he recommended it for Again, I thought that this holster would be a lot larger than it is. Uh, it was going to hang out the bottom of the uh, Unity clutch, but as you can see, it really barely hangs out at all. Um, it's been a great rig. Again, allows me to carry any Glock I want. I don't have to worry about swapping around for different models. Just slap it in there. If you didn't want a light bearing model, you could put a standard Perrin non-light mounted holster in there as well. The problem that I had with Unity's support gear, though, was that they were recommending they make their own proprietary uh, magazine pouches, and those magazine pouches consist of nothing more than a Velcro-backed elastic loop material, uh, just open-ended loops where you stick the mags in. They basically control the mags as they twist it in the pouches left and right like this. Uh, I just didn't like that. Um, kind of like with this Perrin as well, I like things that have multiple uses. Uh, so I can take this out of this Unity clutch, I can put the wings back on, I can run it on a belt, um, just gives me a lot more versatility. Same thing with my mag pouches. I don't want that $40 dedicated Velcro loop. I'm just, I can't pay, can't bring myself to pay that kind of money for a piece of Velcro and elastic loop. Um, so looking around, what have I got? I've got a number of Blue Force Gear 10 speed pouches. Really like these because you put them on your belt when you take your mag out, they go flat. You don't, you're not bothered by them anymore. These are the belt mounted ones with the one wrap on the back. So as I'm looking at the one wrap, I thought, why not just take the one wrap off, put it in backwards, so that the hook side is exposed. Now, go over to my Unity clutch, open up the pocket with the pile lining in the back. I'll insert my 10 speed pouch, Velcro grabs. Now I've got the 10 speed secured in there. I can insert a 
my magazines. Now I've got a little bit less bulk, a little lower form factor on the uh, mag pouch. In addition, it bends with the body, so it's not that flat panel. So it molds with your hip, it's not uncomfortable. You just need one magazine, take it out, like all 10 speeds, it collapses, it disappears. Um, now you've just got that one single mag pouch, again, very low profile. Same thing with your rifle mag. Uh, again, we talk about this being just a summertime rig, but a lot of people are using it for like a battle belt uh, where they put everything in it. Or maybe you're a cop and you really want to stick everything in it, put your ID on the front, you're running some sort of uh, low visibility, low profile mission in plain clothes. Maybe you want to carry a rifle mag. So what do you do? You take the one wrap, reverse it on the 10 speed, same thing. Go back here, find your appropriate pocket, open it up. Insert it in. Now you've got rifle mag pouches as well. Uh, great products from all three companies. Again, can't say enough about this uh, unity belt for the summertime. I've really been loving it. Get it nice and sweaty, running around PT, just running around town. You know, it's hot. It's the south. Uh, throw it in the washing machine. But now you've got something you can just carry: single mags, pistol. You can throw all your accoutrements in here if you really wanted to. Rifle mags, trauma dressing, tourniquet, lights, you know, whatever you wanted. You could load this thing down ridiculously, but most of the time when I run around with it, it's just iPhone, wallet, maybe if I'm wearing shorts that don't have pockets. Uh, magazine and a pistol. Again, it's up to you how you want to set it up, but it works a whole lot better with this Raven Perrin and the Blue Force gear pouches and anything else. And it's multifunctional. I could take that off again, put it on a belt. I could take those off and run them on a belt. I like getting, I like buying things that I can use for multiple purposes. Give it a shot. If it fits your needs, see if you like it. I think you'll be pleased with it. You can get it all right here.